Hey guys, welcome to Burn Yourself Productions. I'm going to go ahead and show off how to add multiple car mods to spin tires. I know that there's a lot of mod tutorial videos out there, but they only show you how to add in one mod. A lot of people obviously want to do more than one modded vehicle, however there are a few things you must understand first. One, in the full game of spin tires, unlike the demo, there's only seven vehicles stock in the game. And when you put in a modded vehicle, they replace one of those vehicles. Now if you were to have two modded vehicles that replace the same vehicle, well you're going to have an issue. Your game's going to crash because it's trying to load in two vehicles for one vehicle and it doesn't work like that. The game right now only has seven and it screws up the coding and it's whatever. Thankfully, in March or April, the developers have confirmed they're going to be adding in mod support, which is cool because right now any mods disable the achievements in Steam and they disable the multiplayer, which kind of sucks. For those of you who like playing with friends or just your achievement hunter, trophy hunter, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to start off this video like any other video. We're going to start off with how to do your first mod for media for uh, for spin tires. And the reason we're going to do this is because perhaps you're new to the game and you have a blank media folder like me, like you're looking at right here. Or you've had the game for a while and you're finally interested in trying out some new mods that you saw on YouTube or the UV.net forums. And you're just really curious about it, but you don't know how to do it. So that's what I'm here for. Okay, so there's two ways to get to your media folder. The first one is you open up your computer folder. You go to Program Files x86. This is if you're running a 64-bit OS. You have an x86 folder. If you don't and you're running a 32-bit OS, it, you're just going to have a Program Files, which is where everything will be. So we're going to click here. Go to Steam. Steam Apps common spin tires and here's your media folder if you haven't modded yet or you just downloaded the game you should have a blank folder inside media except for videos inside videos is the intro video don't delete it the game needs that the other way to do this is you go to steam right click spin tires in your library and go down to properties local files browse local files that's another way you can do it but that's not what we're doing right now we're going to exit out of that we're going to exit out of that, and we're going to exit out of that. We're going to open that back up. Oh, I guess I did need that. <laughs> I thought I'd opened up another one. Let's go and open that back up. I'm going to do it the long way, just to show it again for those of you who may have missed it, and I opened up the wrong thing. I'm a genius. Okay, here we go. Program Files x86, and we're going to go to Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Spin Tires, Media. Oh, not what I wanted. We're going to make it so it fits well like we did before. Here we go. That's better. Okay, so we're going to start off with a very popular mod that a lot of people tend to see pop up when they search up Spin Tires mods. is the uh, Brute Terror F350. That's that cool looking big lifted blue and black pickup truck, F the Ford F350 that everyone sees. So... In this case, this is where it's really easy. Your media folder in your game is blank because you don't have any mods. So you need to do Control A, Control C to copy, Control A selects all, click inside the media folder of the game spin tires, and Control V to paste. That mod's done. However, if you have already started up any of the games, any of the maps inside spin tires, you need to uh, clear your cache. Why? Because the cache is also where your save data is for your progress in all the maps. If you started up a map, the game has already loaded up one of the of several of the stock seven trucks. If you're trying to load in another one, it derps with the game, black screen crashes, all that cool stuff. The game doesn't want to work. You have to clear out the cache. So there's a cool little .bat file you can download off of the UV.net download manager forms. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for that in the description below for you guys so you can use that. Basically how you operate this is you double click on it, you're going to click run, and it's going to ask you, uh, are you sure to delete this folder? You're going to say Y, uppercase Y, lowercase Y, doesn't matter. Then you're going to press enter and just going to say done. Press any key to continue, I press enter just for the hell of it, hit it twice, it's cleared. If you don't have that yet, what you're going to do to get that is you're going to go to start button, computer, go back to your hard drive again, assuming you have a hard drive. I hope you have a hard drive. you got a problem if you don't. <laughs> I'm going to go to users. I'm going to Scott, or whatever you named yourself. I'm going to app data, roaming, and you're going to scroll down, 
and right here there's going to be a spin tires folder. That's your cache. I don't have it anymore because I just deleted it via the .bat program. However, that's where you need to do it. And again, don't forget to delete it. You need to delete it if you started up the game prior to putting in a mod. So just to show that this works, uh, we're going to go to the Steam, play, we're going to skip the intro, and go over here to play on the river, which is where the F-350, because it replaces the Zeal, the, uh, the blue pickup truck. So we're going to start new game. And there we go. Okay, so that's out of the way. That's the first part of the video. Exit out of the game. And now we're going to put in another mod of, that I typically use. This is a recent mod by, I believe, Spun in Darkness. Uh, he made, along several vehicles, a... where is it? A Jeep Wrangler... The, the new additions, the four-door ones. Um, and he lifted it. It's actually pretty decent for rock crawling. It flies through mud. It's beautiful. Excuse me. So we're going to open up that. Open it up again. Let's go to the media. And here we go. Same files. Well, now we have a problem because, well, what do we do? Do we just drag and drop? Do we replace? Well, yes and no. You can't just drag and drop because you're going to end up replacing certain folders that don't and files that should not be replaced. That's going to mess up your other mod, which is going to lead to your game black screening, not starting, or just crashing. So this is unfortunately the arduous process because the game does not officially have mod support yet, although the developers of Spin Tires have confirmed that in March or April this will be a reality, which is nice because right now mods disable multiplayer and also disable achievements. So if you're an achievement hunter, mods are probably not your best thing, and you should probably, if you do undo mods, back up your media folder, which is, you know, a good idea to do to begin with, just in case you screw something up. And as for multiplayer, well, if you like playing with people like me, I definitely keep a backup of my media folder for such an occasion. And as such, this is actually my Spin Tires Mods folder right here. This is all the mods that I have, so I can just drag and drop them in whenever I clear the media folder or something. And then, where is it? Here we go. My Spin Tires Media Folder Backups. This is a folder I put on my drive, or uh, my desktop. And it's my backup cache right there. And this is basically a description of each of my media folders. So I have a media folder with just the F-350, which is basically what we just did. I have the media F-360, plus the Jeep I'm about to show you guys how to put in, or any other car mod if you want to do it. As well as a monster truck version of one of the stock vehicles, which is pretty cool. It goes through anything. It's awesome. And this one's just the Jeep Wrangler I'm about to put in the F-350. When you click on these, there's the media folder. Everything's already in there. Really useful. Okay. So first off, we're going to go to the Jeep Wrangler Limited. We're going to Media. This is just how it is when you extract it. For the way to do that. Now you could always just drag and drop. Bam. Makes it so much easier. However, if you were to replace the Media folder or clear it, you're going to lose all that. And what that basically means is, is now you're missing all the folders and files that belong to that mod. So now to get them back, you're going to have to re-download the mod, which is really, really annoying and easily avoidable. So basically just control A to, to highlight all, control C to copy it all, and control V to paste it where it belongs, and you'll thank yourself later on. So first off, you're noticing a lot of these are matching. So we're going to go to classes inside the mod classes inside the media folder of spin tires, you can notice you have some similarities here. So you're not just going to control C and control V on top of it, you're going to replace folders and files you don't want to do. So click further in. Now you're in trucks inside the media folder for spin tires. Now you're in trucks for the game. So you can do control A on your keyboard to copy everything, control C to copy everything, and control V to paste everything. So now that part's done. You can back out one on each, you have wheels and wheels. Control A, Control C, that's done. And basically you just do this to everything. You go to meshes, meshes, I'm going to get through this as quick as I can as well just to speed up the video. Okay, so you can Control A, Control C, you don't have to Control A, it's just one item. I just, I'm critical about things like that. And then we go to sounds, sounds. Now, this is another thing. You have the exact same folder, so you can click inside them and see what there is. Okay, in this case, you have Power Stroke and you have a V8. So, in this case, you're going to do this. It's just like that. That's good. Back out. 
you can go to strings. Okay, well there's no strings folder, so just like when you did the initial mod where you just control eight all the folders and put them over, same thing. Control C for strings, control V, there you go. In this case, this mod puts it so that when you look on the map or when you're seeing the vehicle, when you like change truck and go to it, rather than just say like U as 465, whatever it is, it's actually going to say Jeep Wrangler. And not all the modders do this, but I kind of wish they did. Just makes it a little bit more better. It'll, it's the small things. Okay, so now you have templates. Templates. So there's already a truck, and there's already a truck, so you're not going to replace that. It's the same thing. However, you do want this. Control or C and then control V. Back out. Back that one too far. Now you got textures. Textures, textures. In this case this monitor put in the trucks. Sometimes they don't have the trucks and it skips straight to this. If it doesn't come with that and this is your first mod, once you're inside the textures, go ahead and make a new folder called trucks, all lowercase. You need that, otherwise the mod will not work. Click on trucks. Control C, Control V, and go back and see if there's anything else, and no there is not. So that's everything that needs to be done for both mods. So we're going to minus out of that, and remember, if you've already gone to the game, you need to delete your cache. I explained earlier why that you need to do that, but please remember to delete your cache. If it's not working, chances are you forgot to delete it. Again, you can use the .bat file, but not everyone has that. Although I will be linking that description as mentioned earlier. So for now, I'm going to do how everyone else is probably going to have to do it their first time, if, unless they've downloaded it. Is basically going into the long way and deleting it. So you can go to your local disk C, users, go to your name, app data, roaming. And now I have a spin tires folder. Why? Because I started up the game to show you guys the mod. I loaded up a map. That's my cache. I needed to delete it. So we're going to delete. Click yes. It's gone. Perfect. So now what we can do is, is we can now load up the game and our second mod should be there. I guess I saw a lag there on the intro. Go to play. Load up river because both this is what happens that both mods I use are the starting vehicles on the river. So we're gonna start game. And there we go. And just to show you how it works, I'm gonna change truck. Start the engine. And there we go. And that, my friends, is how you mods at the same time in terms of vehicles. Also, if you guys are looking at the mods such as sound packs, uh, uh, putting a driver in your vehicle, there are a couple of mods and forms that have that. Same, same uh, method. In terms of the app mods, you have to run the legacy version of the game. But what sucks about that is, is you can't run the call mods at the time. They don't really work with the legacy version that much. So, Basically, just stick with the main version of the game, don't go to their legacy, unless you really want maps to work our mods. So, that's basically it. That's how you put in multiple mods. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. Leave a like if it did. And if you feel that my content is good enough for you guys, then go ahead and subscribe. Why not? I'll be sure to do uh, more videos as requested. I'll try and do request videos if you guys want me to say review a car or go over a certain thing in the game. I'll be more than happy to do that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Thank you.